Hey guys, so for the first step, I'm gonna be installing these fans on the frame. I penetrated the holes to match up the holes on the fan on this bar over here. And I'm gonna be using some machine screws, which will tie everything up. Later, I'm gonna be using some zip ties, which will tie all the fans all together as well. If you're interested in purchasing any of the components that I'm gonna be using in the video, the link is gonna be in the description below, so make sure you check that out. So for this one, the wire is actually on the top portion. I want it to be on the bottom. That way I can connect it straight to the PSU. Next, I'm gonna be installing the 1660 Super from PNY. I'm gonna be using these risers from GPU risers, which I'm gonna be connecting to my graphic cards. For this, you have to match up the slot. There's a smaller portion here, a gap, and a big portion. So, just like plain let go. Next, I'm gonna be putting the GPU right here. The bottom beam is gonna be supporting the GPU, and I'm gonna be screwing the GPU to this top beam. So I measure this portion here in equal sizes and I'm going to be penetrating a hole so I can install the GPU into this frame. Right now I'm installing the RAM and the CPU on the motherboard. So for the motherboard, I chose the TB250 BTC Pro. And there's a few important factors that you have to consider when choosing a motherboard. One, the CPU needs to match the motherboard. They need to be compatible. And also, you need to match the slot for the RAM. For this specific motherboard, you need a DDR4. It is recommended at 2133, but you can always get something at a higher clock speed and technically clock it down. CPU, I chose the Intel Core i5, and this is the 6600K. And for the RAM, I went with the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. So same thing for the RAM, you have to match the slot. Push it down, that locks in, and then the second one. Gonna attach the motherboard to the base of the frame. So for support, I'm gonna use this plastic anchor, and I cut the anchor in half I'm using this portion. have to be very tight. I'm currently put in the power supply. This is a 1600 watt by EGBA. One thing I do want to point out that I'm still missing the CPU fan. 
But the reason I haven't put it in is because I'm still waiting for the delivery. And once I receive the delivery, I'm gonna be installing the fan. Now let's connect the power source to the fan. So this is the 24 pin. Let's power the motherboard. Now we're gonna power the CPU. So now let's connect the SSD card. You can connect to any of these SATAs. As you can see, the SD card and the PSU are attached to the frame. I just simply just match the holes from the SD card and just drilled a hole into the frame and just screw in the component. And I did the same thing with the PSU. So it's pretty simple. Next, I'm connecting the 6-pin BGA to the riser. I printed some PCIe splitters. And the reason why I did that is this wire over here is not long enough to make the connection. So the splitter will compensate for the length and I'll be able to make my connection to the riser. So one of the most important safety factor is for you to buy some good quality wires that can handle the power that is consumed by the riser and by the GPU. What happens is if you buy a wire that is not the spec, the wire will eventually get hot and burn out your system or burn out your house. So it is very important for you to take good consideration of the wire that you are using. These are 18 gauge wires, so for this specific application, it is good. Make sure that these wires are well connected and I'm talking about all the wires throughout the system. Just like your steak, you want it well done, you want your connection well done. As you can see, I'm using the same PCIe wire that is coming from the power supply to feed the riser and the GPU. And by the way, I'm not an electrician. If you need professional biases, this is not the place to get it. This is just for entertainment purposes. Next, I'm gonna be installing the fan. This is the moment of truth. I'm gonna turn on the power and hopefully this does not blow up on me. It's super small, nothing blew up. 